Did you know that TMNT had multiple fifth girl Ninja Turtles? Yes, we have five of them. And in the IDW, we have a fifth turtle, a sixth turtle, and even a seventh turtle. Not two, not three, not four. From April to Venus, Janika and Lita, I'm gonna tell you all about them. So get comfortable, grab a slice of pizza, and get ready. What up, Geektron here. And if you love nostalgic franchises like the Ninja Turtle, consider subscribing. So let's start with the first fifth Ninja Turtle, and that will be April. Yes, April O'Neil was once mutated into a Ninja Turtle, and it all happened in 1994 Archie Comics called the Fifth Turtle. It all happened where April was investigating the company, and unfortunately for her, she got caught and had mutagen thrown at her, which mutated her into a turtle. Everyone was shocked. She was rocking the white bandana and the letter A on her belt for April. And the weapon of choice was the katana. Unfortunately, the end of the comic, she was turned back into her human form. Guys, imagine if they would have done this in the 2012 version, yo, Donatello would have went nuts. I have no idea why they didn't do that. Come on. The only reason Ninja Turtle reboots so much is to sell toys, and I'm pretty sure that toy would have sold like crazy. My master, the Shaman Chung E, found me in your city's Chinatown swimming in a drainage ditch. <laughs> you know, I uh, work out every day. <laughs> Next, we got our favorite turtle on the list, Venus. <laughs> I'm just playing. In this version of the turtles, there was originally five turtles in the beginning, and Master Splinter forgot how to count and let one behind, but yet kept in touch with the Shinobi Koshung that took her to China. And I blame the third Ninja Turtle movie for this. They grabbed the time scepter, they messed around with time, and this is what happens. We have a fifth turtle in the beginning. Splinter and Spirit gets kidnapped and Venus learn about her origin story and heads to New York to help out the other turtle. I was gonna say brothers, but in this version of the Ninja Turtle, they're technically not brothers. Venus had a baby blue braided bandana and had magic powers that defeated Shredder on her first time fighting. Yeah, let's move on to the next. <laughs> next we have Jenica. I consider this one my favorite fifth Ninja Turtle. She was originally a human, a foot soldier, and a love interest for Casey Jones. But things turned south on her when she didn't obey Karai's from staying away from Splinter and the Turtles, so she ended up getting stabbed. This caused her needing an emergency transfusion, mutagen blood from Leo. His blood mutated her into a turtle mutant. She chose the yellow bandana, and her weapon of choice was the dope Wolverine claws. Next, we have the newcomer, Lita. Lita was originally a human that caught in the mutagen bomb, which mutated her into a turtle. She was abandoned by her family, and she was adopted by the Splinter Clan and considered Janika as her mother and Leo and Donatello as her dad. She really didn't fit in with the other mutants kids, but Splinter Clan guided her. We got to see Big Lita that came from the future, which we found out she became a apprentice of Renette as a time stress, making her the strongest turtle. If you could bend time, you're the most powerful thing. Lita as a kid wore a pink bandana, but Big Lita did it. She had a pink birthmark, which was pretty unique compared to the other turtles. And last on our list, we have Venus, the IDW version, which I'm not even sure to even put her on this list. And here's why. This version of Venus was a failed Frankenstein experiment from Dr. Barlow. Originally a clone of a punk frog called Bonnie. Yes. She's a punk frog. It's kind of sad to be honest, getting kidnapped and chopped up and put back together. Dr. Barlar with a bad banana. So this makes Venus a trans turtle? Woke, woke. This version of Venus had the dragon scale in her shell, which made her one of the most powerful characters in the comic. She had powers like self-generation and telepathic power. All right, so question, which fifth Ninja Turtle is your favorite and do you consider Venus as a Ninja Turtle? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Peace.